Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on how to connect MySQL database to Power BI for direct query or real-time data analysis using the correct drivers. So I'm emphasizing the part of using the correct drivers because there are two drivers which you can use to connect to the MySQL database. Most people are usually aware of the native MySQL connector which Power BI prompts you to install. But there's one more driver which you can use called the MariaDB driver which will help us in real-time reporting on the MySQL database. So we're going to take a look at both of these drivers and their corresponding advantages and disadvantages. So let's start with the first one. If we go to Power BI Desktop and select Get Data from the usual MySQL as a data source. And I'll show you guys from scratch because that's going to make it easier for everyone to understand for both the drivers. So I'm selecting MySQL database and right off the bat, I'll get the error message that I don't have a connector. And that's obvious. I don't have any driver to connect to MySQL. So Power BI won't know how to connect. That's fair enough. Let's go to learn more. And this is where you all have been through before. It's just for guys who have not downloaded this. And uh, one more thing to note here is if this version of driver is not working for everybody, uh, some guys are maybe using the older Power BI desktop version, then I would suggest you download the MySQL connector 8032. I repeat, it's 8032. That is going to help people who are running the older versions of Power BI desktop. But if you're not, this one should work. So that's just for people who are having trouble. So that's all. Just start your download. And there's the installation part, which is very easy. Nothing fancy there. Just click next. The default installation path is good. Install it. It's going to ask you for the admin credentials. If you are not an admin, please reach out to your system administrator and then finish. So we've installed this driver. This error should ideally go. If you want to connect to MySQL database. There is a chance that it won't work because you'll have to restart Power BI Desktop. So let's do that quickly. This is required if you install your drivers. You have to reboot Power BI Desktop, either Power BI Desktop or your laptop. If you're installing drivers on the server, a Windows server, you have to reboot the server as well. So that's, that's a requirement because these drivers usually come into action when you reboot the application. If not application, then the underlying system. So once I reboot Power BI Desktop, I'll go ahead and select Get Data again. So we'll go through the drill once again because we have rebooted Power BI Desktop and those driver, drivers essentially have come into action after restarting the application. Okay, so the same drill again. It's MySQL database. And now it should work because those drivers have come into action. It's going to ask you for the server, either put your IP address or your host name. This is going to be provided by your database administrator. So you don't have to worry about it. For me, it's just a locally hosted database. And with the colon, uh, the port number of MySQL, which is 3306. Database, I have my world database. Now, please, please make a note of this here. We don't have an option for direct query or import. Usually when you select data, get data from any other relational database management system, you have an option for import or direct query. But right off the bat, you don't have an option here. There's only a SQL statement option, which is good, but you don't have, a op have an option for direct query or import. That's the only problem with this driver. Other than that, this driver is really robust, but you don't have a direct query option. So I'll show you the part where we only have import here. I'll get the data and then we'll head over to the other part of this tutorial where we are going to select get data from other driver. So that will help us bring in data in real time fashion with direct query. So I have data in my infernus view. This is just a random sensor data, real time sensor data. So we'll get data from this only caveat being it's import. It's not direct query. So you have to refresh it manually here in Power BI desktop with the re refresh button here. Or if you publish it to Power BI service, you have to schedule refreshes because it's not direct query. So you have to schedule when those refreshes will occur. 
if you are in pro capacity it's going to be eight refreshes per day if you are in premium capacity either premium per user or premium per capacity it's going to be 48 refreshes per day but the caveat is you have to schedule refreshes because if i hover over this i see the storage mode as import that's the problem with this native mysql connector you don't have an option for direct query so we'll rename this since we brought it from the mysql connector the default mysql connector we are going to rename this so that it would be clearer when down the line we bring in the data from MariaDB driver. All right. So until now it's clear we don't have a direct query option with the native MySQL connector. We are now going to move on to the next part of this tutorial where we'll be getting data from the MariaDB driver. So there's a there's a driver for MariaDB, the MariaDB ODBC driver. Uh, so don't worry about why we are going to MariaDB because it's essentially the same database management system family. MariaDB is a fork of MySQL. So it's not a problem. Both are cross compatible. You don't have to worry about it. So let's look up MariaDB ODBC driver. This driver is going to help us with direct query. Okay, so let's select the second link. Click on the download connector. Now please, please uh, make a note of this. You don't have to go to MariaDB community or enterprise because those are essentially the database management systems you're going to download. You just want the connector. You don't want the entire database. You just want the connector. What can I, what product do we want? We just want the ODBC connector for MariaDB. What is my operating system? It's Windows 64 bit. And then the version is the common general availability one. So just hit on download. It's very easy. You don't have to jump through a lot of hoops for this you have the download it's downloading and then the installation is also very easy so let's install the MariaDB driver now because this driver is going to help us connect to the same database with direct query mode so make the complete installation it's very easy just click of buttons it will ask for an admin password if you're not an admin please reach out to your system administrator and that's all very easy once we come back to power bi desktop now i'll show you the distinction between these two so if you get data this time around don't select mysql because that is going to query the data from the mysql connector which we did before this time around please select maria db driver so essentially what you're doing is you're just going to select get data from the MariaDB driver. So this is just something that is sitting in between Power BI desktop and your MySQL database. Just a different driver. Nothing more going on. It's just different driver. So the data source is again my local host. In your case, it's going to be your own database which you have in your corporate network. So database, I have my whole database. Now, coming to the best part of this driver, you have import and direct query option. This option was not there, if you remember, in MySQL connector. There was just by default import. You now have an option for direct query. That's the best part about this driver. And this is what I wanted to show you in this tutorial, that you can get data in a real-time fashion with the help of this driver. So my same view, not changing anything essentially querying the same database just with different drivers. Security risk warning is there because it's thinking I'm combining two different sources, but at the end of the day, I'm just getting data from the same source. I'm, I'm creating a composite model between real time and import. So if I hover over this, I now see the storage mode as direct query. That's the best part. So let's rename this. Let's rename it to MariaDB driver because that's how we brought in this data by connecting to the driver which we downloaded recently. Now let's create visuals with both of these. Let's create a simple uh, line chart. So on the top we'll have with the MySQL connector which was import again. So I have my timestamp on x-axis. I don't want the hierarchy for now because there's not a lot of data. 
and let's select the values. So these are the sensor readings which I have. Nothing fancy. And we'll give it a title as well so that it would be easier for you to differentiate between these two. So this is the import imported data from MySQL connector, the default one. That's what you have. And if I create another line chart for the MariaDB driver data source, I have my timestamp and the same values. It's essentially the same data, just different drivers and different connection method. Direct query and import. So I'll rename this one so that it would be easier to understand. Direct query or real time data from MariaDB <clears throat> driver. Okay. Now the best part here is if I go to page setup and click on page refresh. So this page refresh is only available if you have a direct query source in your model. If you just have an import source, you don't have this page refresh option and you won't get this if you're just getting data with the help of MySQL connector. So only available for direct query. It's going to ask me how often do you want this page to automatically refresh because we are having a direct query source here. So I'll just make it every one second. So you right off the bat, you see these data points have started changing because I have my real time data in the database. Let's enable the data labels as well. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you guys here. See on the top, we have the imported data with the help of MySQL connector, the MySQL default MySQL connector, it never gave us the option of uh, using direct query. So I know most people have uh, guaranteed their customers that we are going to give you real time data, but some people just give up because they're not aware that there's a MariaDB driver as well, which has direct query support. So they, they then confirm to their clients that we are not able to do real time. We're sorry because MySQL connectors don't have that option, but there's a workaround. We can see right here, there's a workaround. You have real time data right here in front of you. The only difference is the drivers which we used. It's essentially the same data source. It's a MySQL database, but different drivers. One driver gave us the opportunity to use direct query, which was the MariaDB ODBC driver. But the other native driver, which Barbie also pointed us to, the native MySQL connector, it didn't have a direct query option. So for this one, if you want to refresh, you'll just have to refresh it from here. So you'll have to press the refresh button and in Power BI service, you'll have to schedule those refreshes. But for the bottom one, which was the MariaDB driver source, there it's still real time. It's still super, re super real time. And uh, you have it right in front of you. It's automatically refreshing because it is direct query. So that was the conclusion of this video. That's the only problem we have with MySQL. This is the workaround. Uh, and for MySQL, I'd suggest if you guys have an option for Postgre or Microsoft SQL Server as data sources for Power BI, please make use of those because uh, even if you have this data here, if you do some sort of uh, expensive transformations, let's say, it's, it's not going to be able to fold that data back to the database because this is again a different driver. It's a MariaDB driver. I know they're from the same family, but uh, you'll, you'll run into problems. So what I'd suggest is, for your historical reporting, make use of the MySQL connector. It's robust. I've used it in the past, but for the real time part, if you want to show some data points right on the first page, use the MariaDB data source. So that's all I had. I hope this will help someone who was stuck with this real time problem. I mean, I have seen people who have, uh, who have gone to their clients and said that we are not able to give you real time with the MySQL database. Uh, so this is for Whoever, whoever was struggling with this, please make use of this. The MariaDB driver is right there at your disposal. Uh, I hope this helped other people as well. So let me know in comments if you have any other questions. Uh, if the gateway connection part is also required, we'll make a video on that one as well. For now, this one should be enough because if you know what the driver is, it's the same process for the gateway as well. So you can inform your gateway admins or uh, Windows Server admins. They'll do it, up, do it for you. They'll set it up for you. But for now, this is what we have. And I hope this helps a lot of people. 
Thanks.